Well, we've come to a small area of woodland just outside Brentwood in Essex, where we know there are large numbers of wood ant nests. We're hopefully going to find one of these and have a much closer look. Ah, now here's a large nest of wood ants. This nest will be much larger later in the summer when it gets built up, but it's pretty big now, isn't it? The surface of the nest is a hive of activity of scurrying ants. Some of them are carrying pieces of twig and leaf buds to help build up the nest mound. Others will be carrying prey to take back into the nest as food for the young and the rest of the colony. The ants will bring materials suitable for building into the nest from often quite great distances and have to overcome quite a lot of obstacles in order to reach the nest site as we see here. And given that the objects that they bring are often much bigger than themselves and of an awkward shape, this is quite a feat for them to accomplish. All around this wood we find other wood ant nests of varying shapes and sizes. There are holes all over the surface of the mound, such as this one here, which function not only as entrances, but as ventilation shafts, an air conditioning system to help keep the temperature inside the mound nice and even. The wood ants we've been looking at belong to a species called Formica rufa. This is found in southern Britain. But there are two other species which are found in northern England, North Wales and Scotland which are almost indistinguishable uh, to the naked eye from Formica rufa. And the only way we can distinguish them is by making mounted specimens and having a close look at them under a microscope. It's also often necessary to examine more than one specimen and sometimes uh, three, four or five because there can be variation uh, from individual to individual in each nest and this has to be taken into account. Well, that completes our little journey into the world of the wood ant which I hope you found uh, enjoyable and interesting and learned a little bit along the way and uh, see you again soon.